Dutch Buzz is a local radio station uh, in English on the local broadcaster Den Haag FM. It's also um, available online on DutchBuzz.nl. We do um, news, local news. Uh, we feature local views and interviews with local people. Well, we like to sort of say unofficially it's your guide to life right here in The Hague and of course it's probably the only English language radio program of its kind uh, and I myself have found it to be a really re rewarding uh, opportunity to actually learn a lot more about this community that I'm now calling home and I think many expats can sort of echo the the idea that when you move to a foreign country oftentimes the media that normally you get your information from is in a, in a different language that you can't necessarily understand and so um, I think it's great that programs like ours and various English newspapers that have come out make uh, Dutch life a little bit more transparent to us non-Dutch speaking people. So here we are on the top floor of Humanity House, and as you can see, the room has been set up as a typical Red Cross refugee camp. Uh, you see the cots, you see the typical Red Cross blankets. Which this is the start of your museum. I give you a small uh, side scene. Yeah. And this is the starting place for the refugee to go through the experience. Yeah. You have to leave your house immediately, and that's what you're now going to do. What we try to visualize here is a refugee doesn't have an identity. A, a, a refugee doesn't exist. Yeah, a mirror. No. Yeah, it's pretty strange. <laughs> There is actually a speaker beneath each one of these cots and if you lie down you can actually listen to personal anecdotes of actual refugees who had some pretty harrowing experiences. And this is really the culmination of I think it's four or five floors of museum quality and an interactive exhibit that really gives the, the visitor the real sense of what it's like to be a refugee, about the, about the fear, the uncertainty, um, you know, the, 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 the changing times, you can hear the helicopters going overhead for a real air of kind of excitement and panic and uh, this is a kind of a fitting location for our little on location studio. And as Steve says, uh, it's the perfect platform for our program today which highlights humanitarian issues and environmental issues um, that played a role in 2012 and will continue to do so in the following year. So we've invited uh, people from NGOs, people from um, environmental organizations to be here today to come through Humanity House to get a feel of what it's like to be um, less privileged um, and to take part in the discussions for Dutch Buzz. Well, that draws to a close our special episode of Dutch Buzz at Humanity House. This, of course, is our last program of the year, but don't worry, we're already putting plans together for next year's shows. Thank you, Steve. As always, this program was a team effort, and I'd like to thank both our hosts and guests at Humanity House and all the members of the team for their valuable contribution throughout the year. Our compliments of the season to all our listeners. Dutch Buzz will be back on the airwaves on January the 15th, I'm Lillian Strobach. Take care out there. All the best for the holidays. <laughs> We're killing this show. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go do it.